Hello, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome back from two wonderful days of air math testing. Today is Thursday, April 21st, 2022, and we hope you enjoyed the episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Savannah. Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Ava. Let's all please unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you and please be seated. Well, now an update from our wonderful Miss Bernowski for our Friday, May 13th, Funathon 2022 activities earned thus far. Hello, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. Mrs. Bernoski here with an update of all things Funathon. What is Funathon again? Funathon is an event that will happen in the afternoon of Friday, May 13th. It's a fundraiser to raise money for our school's athletics, clubs, and activities. It's a celebrate to commemorate everybody for working so hard in the air assessment. And it's a party to get excited about the end of the school year. Now, it's a fundraiser, you say, so how do we raise the money? We are raising money via PledgeStar. PledgeStar is an online platform that allows you to send links to your family and friends so that they can donate money to our school. In order to open a PledgeStar account, somebody has to be 18 or older. So the information on opening an account has been sent to your families. Please be sure that they have received this information. If you as a student have at least one pledge in your PledgeStar account, you will be rewarded with some very fabulous Sycamore sunglasses. Let's hear from some people around the school about these sunglasses. Feel free to watch our famous faces around the building or check out Mr. Aviator in the corner. Hey, Mr. Labricum, cool shades. Oh yeah. You want some of these bad boys? Get on Pledge Star, raise some money for the Funathon, May 13th during school. Woo hey, Officer Adi. Cool shades. Oh yeah. And you can get shades just like these if you pledge money through Pledge Star for the Funathon on May 13th. Hey ladies, cool sunglasses. Oh, yeah, you want these? Go to Pledge Star to raise money for the Funathon May 13th. Hey Dr. Ray, cool shades. Oh yeah? You can get a pair if you raise money on Pledge Star for our Funathon on May 13th. Hey, Mr. Harris, cool shades. Oh yeah, you can get a pair of shades just like this if you pledge on Pledge Star for our Funathon on May 13th. Pledge some money! <laughs> so as a reminder, if you get at least one pledge, you can earn a pair of sunglasses on Funathon. Thus far as an entire student body, we have raised $1,707. Now, if each student raises $40, we will be able to reach our goal of $30,000. The more money we raise, the better the party. So, as you can see, by raising $500, we'll allow all students to have their phone outs for the phones out for the party. If by raising $1,000, we are having Mr. Aviator show up to the party. Next up, if we get to $5,000, we will open the track for students to run around. $10,000, we will get a DJ to come to the event. $15,000, we'll get all the gym games out for field games. $20,000, we're getting a magician. $25,000, we'll get a stilt walker with a juggler. And if we raise $30,000, we'll get a dunk tank out and put staff members in there for you to dunk. So remember, $40 per student gets us our goal. Raise money on Pledge Star today. Wow, we can do way better than that, said the Marginia Harm. Everyone start collecting spare change around the house, and then you or your guardian donate, donate it on the Pledge Star website to get everything at the Funathon. At least some music and some fun activities. I ultimately think it would be fun to watch people try to dunk some of our fun teachers. I know, right? I can't wait to have a fun-a-thon during school time and the more stuff there, more fun. If everyone donates in the 40 to $50 range, we can make it all happen. Okay. Oh, hey, Khadija, what's that on your hand? Oh, it's my cool aviator tattoo. <laughs> Today is National High Five Day. 
Each year on the third Thursday in April, we observe National High Five Day. This is a fun day where you can high five everyone that you see. Folklore fills the hollow halls of sports stadiums concerning the origins of high five. From the basketball to the volleyball court and baseball stadium, the sports metaphor has been well worn on this topic. Here's a fun fact. In 2016, Kaiser Permanente of San Diego achieved 290 high fives in one minute. The record for the most high fives in 24 hours goes to Pete Timms in Brisbane, in Australia. He achieved 14,607 high fives in 2012. Wow. Today's daily survey. So we have not had a survey the past two days because of air testing, so there are no results today. But make sure to go fill out today's daily survey in the communications classroom. Yeah, go do that. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Andrew M. and Kellen T. today. Also, happy belated birthday to Zohar Z, Kaden J, Adeline B, Talia B, Abigail C, Georgia H, Haruki M, Violet B, and a very special shout out to our news crew member, Nikolai S, who celebrated yesterday. We hope you have a wonderful day to celebrate. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris with some more school news. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, we have a little meeting change, all right? So this is for seventh grade boys who are interested in playing soccer here at the junior high next uh, next year. That meeting was supposed to be tomorrow. That has been moved to Friday, April 29th during Flex Bell. So next Friday during Flex Bell in room 240, this is Mr. Tanaka's room, all right? So that's the boys' soccer meeting for seventh graders who want to play soccer here at the junior high. Remember, you can only play on one team at the same time during a particular season. So you can't play like on a club soccer team and play on a school soccer team. So just letting you guys know. All right, if you can't make that meeting, please stop by Mr. Tanaka's room, that's 240, to receive the handout. Don't forget to buy your tickets for Willy Wonka Jr. All right, that is going down next weekend, uh, April 28th, 29th, and 30th at the High School Theater at seven o'clock. You can purchase tickets at Aves Theater org for ten dollars or at the door for twelve dollars if you are truly passionate about steam sycamore ftc robotics will having their virtual info session for 7th through 12th graders tonight that's tonight from seven to eight o'clock check the school email check your school newsletter the s'more or your email for the link but that meeting will be tonight at seven and any girl interested in competing in the high school in high school cross country should attend the informational meeting tomorrow. That's Friday. Uh, this meeting will be held in Mr. Shomo's room, room 215 during Flex Bell. Check in with your Flex teacher and go and head to that uh, meeting if you're a girl interested in running cross country at the high school. And finally, I Yang He Seo. Okay, that's Korean for hello, and I butchered that badly. I did my best, but. International Club, you're going to meet tomorrow, that's Friday, from 315 to 410 in room 214. And our focus country is South Korea. So go to that meeting despite my terrible pronunciation of that. I hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to present your Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week is Brianna Snyder. Did say it right, hopefully, and she is our track athlete of the week. And our coaches say that she has been very hardworking and coachable throughout the season. She's made huge strides, and she elevates her fellow throwers to greater heights. So we're honored to name her athlete of the week. There's your write-up, and there's your little certificate. All right, there you go. All right, our next athlete of the week is Jillian Fearman. And Jillian is repping the softball team, all right, and uh, Jillian works hard, and although she's a third baseman, she catches because she knows where she's needed most. She's usually the first person in the gym to set up equipment, and she's just helping out. She makes sure everything gets set up. She's the last person to leave, and she has great knowledge of the game, and she shares it with her teammates. So uh, um, she's just been added as a team captain because of her worth ethic and consistent efforts to make sure things get done. So congratulations to Jillian for our Lady Ace Fast Pitch Athlete of the Week. Congratulations, huh? All right, there's your write-up and everything. All right, and last but not least, come on in. Representing boys lacrosse, Hello, is Ian McGraw. Ian is a goalie, all right? And it is a very challenging position. Here's what his coach writes up. Um... 
it's a very challenging position, and he's new to the position, but he get, is improving every week. He works hard to get better every day and to help his team. His worth ethic and constant desire to improve his game inspires everyone around him. With Ian in the goal, the team and the coaches feel very confident we will have a successful season. So, Ian, congratulations to be on your Athlete League of the Week. Here is your write-up, or your certificate, and your write-up. Thank you. That's it for me. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later. Okay, what's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have pancakes and eggs. We also will serve chicken patty sandwiches. Phew, so glad that we were done with testing. We actually, well, actually, 7th graders are the ones who have finished for this school year, but 8th graders still have the science air test. Oh, well, at least the science air test is only for one day. Don't forget to see the musical Willy Wonka that our lovely theater programs here at the junior high is putting on at the end of this month. Don't forget to buy your tickets soon. Now for the joke of the day. Thanks to Mrs. Hurley for the recent jokes. What was the first electricity detective? Who? Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Go Waves! waves.